call out this killer from Cabrillo High School. Look at that design pad bro. Yeah, it's an easy looking machine. It fills up a lot. So we turn this counterclockwise, which turns the sprocket that's connected to the pulley, which pulls the rope that comes to the weight, pulls the weight up the ramp. Uh, we have the, diam the diameter of the wheel divided by the diameter of the axle, which gave us an ideal mechanical advantage, or IMA, of 4 divided by, I mean, 2.5 divided by 1 A, which gave us an IMA of 20 to 1. Then we have the diameter of sprocket in divided by sprocket out, which gave us 4 divided by 1.5 which gave us an IMA of 1.7 to 1. Then we have the pulley, which is just one to one because there's only one pulley. Then we have the ramp, the, uh, the length of the ramp divided by the height of the ramp, which was 12.5 divided by 5.5, which gave us an IMA of 2.3 to 1. So we took all those numbers and multiplied it to get a ideal mechanical advantage of 124.2 to 1. And then we took our actual mechanical advantage, which is 50, divided it by 124.2 times 100 to get an estimated, estimated efficiency of 40%. We use the dual range, the dual range force sensor on the wheel. We rotated it counterclockwise to get uh, actual mechanical advantage of 50, like you said, 50 to 1. Um, I feel like we could have made this machine more professional by using more pulleys and making it more stable. Thank you for your time. Yeah.